All right, guys, so today we're gonna talk about your brain is a meaning-making machine. And you are the one who is in charge of deciding what that meaning will be every single second of the day. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Hey guys, all right, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is where we learn how to reprogram our mind, build up our self-concept, and manifest the life of our fucking dreams. So welcome, I am so excited for you to be here today. And today I wanna talk about this, that I want you to keep reminding yourself every day that your brain is a meaning-making machine. So what does that mean? Well, that means that everything that you are experiencing in your reality, every observation you make, a judgment you make, a thought that you're having, where you're focusing, a feeling, a belief, a we can go on and on and on, all of those things you're interpreting through giving it a meaning and if the meaning is not good that's why it keeps manifesting unfavorably for you and if the meaning is good that's why you usually end up getting everything that you want so it's really important to understand that if you find yourself focusing on a story of you or a story of your entire life or just maybe one or two areas of your life and the story's not good. The story is showing you or telling you, I should say, that you're not getting something, you're losing something, it's gonna be too hard for you to have it, um, it's never going to work out in your favor, you know, blah, 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 right? Any of those kinds of meanings that you're giving to something, it's because your self-concept in relation to that thing or that experience is not favorable. Because if your self-concept is high, if your self-concept knows I am so amazing and incredible that I can be successful, I can be, you know, in the relationship of my dreams, I can, you know, live a life of luxury, I can travel the world, like whatever your personal preferences are for yourself, if it, they were favorable, then you would be attaching meanings that support the favorable viewpoint of you. So this is why you have to work on your self-concept. This is why it's so important because you are the creator of all your experiences and you're the one, your brain is the one that is attaching meanings to everything in your reality. My brain's not attaching a meaning to your reality. My brain is attaching meanings based off me and my reality. So you're in charge of your reality. You're in charge of your thoughts and beliefs and assumptions. You're in charge of where you're focusing. You're in charge of you. No one else is in charge of you. It can feel like we don't, people are in charge of us, but usually they're not. Or even if they are to some extent, you, no one's in control of your brain. And this is what mastering your mind is. This is what Neville talks about, the mental diet, why it's so important. And that once you learn how to master your mind, you can lay to rest any and all techniques because your brain will naturally attach meanings that are favorable. It won't naturally think in an unfavorable way for you. Or even if it does catch a doubt or an insecurity moment, you know, here or there, it'll quickly flip it on its own. So until you become that version of you, you have to interrupt your brain and focus and state what it is that you desire, what is going to happen in your favor and who you are so that you're obviously good enough and worthy enough and deserving to receive exactly what you want and better. Okay, so you really need to understand that. And the more you remind yourself that all day long, just because you're viewing a reality, just because something just manifested in your reality, even good stuff. Do you know how many people, when your self-concept's shitty and you start manifesting in what you want, you don't trust it. It's not comfortable for you because it's not a familiar experience to you, even if it's something you wanted. So you have to pay attention to what meaning you're assigning to everything and everyone in your reality. And sometimes we can catch these things quicker than others because we have 70,000 thoughts a day, 95% of them we're not aware of. So your brain is always attaching meanings. It's always assuming something. So your job is to start vetting that out. Your job is to start, hey, you know what? I ought to be thinking this way rather than this way, right? You ought to be really focusing on the version of you that fucking wins in life, the version of you that is living their dream life, the version of you that can be, do, have anything that they want because you really can. 
you really, really can. Anything you want, someone else already has. So you're not asking for the impossible. You're asking for a different set of circumstances and a new experience that maybe you're not familiar with, maybe you've had before, but you don't have any longer, and that is okay. It doesn't mean just because you haven't experienced it or it doesn't mean because you did and now it's gone that you can't have it again. So you are attaching meanings all day long. Your brain is interpreting your five, through your five senses and it's filtering in your experiences and the information that's coming at you billions per second, if that even fucking makes sense, <laughs> probably doesn't make sense, but all the information you're processing all the time through your five senses in your brain, it's filtering it out and it's holding on to the meanings and the stories that support your self-concept. So you have to change your story of you in relation to what it is that you want to manifest. You have to focus on a new story of your life and you persist in that until it feels comfortable and natural and familiar for you to think this way, for you to naturally start attaching meanings that are in your favor if you're someone who has been attaching meanings that are not in your favor. That is what feel it real means. That is what Neville talks about. He doesn't talk about the emotional part of it. He talks about it needs to feel natural to you. If you were this version of you, if this was your normal way of life, if this was who you are and what you're living, who would you be? Well, you wouldn't be someone who's not familiar with that way of thinking, that way of being, and that way of having. So you're always attaching meanings. You really want to pay attention to, is the meaning I'm attaching right now supportive of the outcome that I want? If the answer is no, then you change the story. And the way to do this is to start really paying attention to what is going on in my brain. You have to interrupt the process. You have to move yourself. So, listen, when you can make a decision and say, you know what, this is what's going to happen. That's how it's going to be and you don't doubt it you don't really have to affirm for it because you already know it is yours if you're finding yourself needing to affirm for it because you have a lot of thoughts that keep popping up naturally that go against what you want then that's telling you that my brain is naturally attaching meanings that are not favorable so i have to reprogram my mind until i start thinking favorable in this area and my brain starts naturally attaching meaning that of things in my reality that support what it is that I desire. And you persist in that until it becomes natural to you to think that way, to look at your life this way, to know that you can have this. And that's why you persist so you can move yourself into that state over and over again until it becomes solidified and more of your dominant way of being and your brain is naturally attaching favorable meanings to these areas of your life where they were not before. That is all we're doing, guys. No one to change but self. All you're doing is overcoming any limiting programming that you have in you, which are belief systems that go against what you want because your belief system is producing the thoughts that support your shitty belief system. So if you're finding yourself having a lot of shitty negative thoughts, then you understand, oh, I have a belief that is supporting this, which is why my brain, I know this is truth, so my brain is attaching meanings all the time that support the unfavorable truth for me. And you just reprogram your mind and persist in that until your brain starts naturally attaching favorable meanings to every area of your life. That is how you are limitless. That is how you become unstoppable. All right, I'll see you soon.